YouTube series and this part is based upon one of my earlier blog which was refracting YouTube player to show the selected videos right now if we go to a player if you see if you select something it doesn't stay there but we want it to stay there so that the user can know which uh, video is selected so let's move forward and uh, create it but before moving forward I should tell you one thing that I had did a blender two years back also and uh, use the API keys here and pushed it to github so those API keys were uh, used uh, a lot so Google also sent me a mail regarding that so I finally changed it and uh, the way I changed it is that uh, the api key i add that the process.env is dot react app api key then i created a dot env file and i will not show you the content of the dot env file but the dot env file it is something like this and then the api key whatever it is there is no string here and after that i added it in the git ignore and push it to the github so this time no api key get passed there so this is what i did so let's move forward to our changes so what we need to do for that for that first our video list component is there so the video list component is a functional component so we have to change it to a class based component first let's change it to class based component class video list extends react dot component as with all class based component that has have a constructor props super props let me increase the size a bit super props and uh, we'll soon make uh, add something here let me fix this yelling first I have to wrap everything in a render let me take all this cut it and put it inside here now the yelling is not there anymore uh, so now we will create so in constructor we'll have a new state this dot state equal to which will be known as active index and it will be initially null then let's have a function handle handle change is it will have a selected index and uh, the this dot set state our active index will be equal to the selected index now in the render we will have a variable active which will be this dot state dot active index and in video list item we'll pass three new props from this uh, video list to video list item the first props will be 
selected by user it will be selected index we will be getting and uh, this dot handle change this will be passing when we will be receiving this we will call this the second props will be current index and it will be index so let's take this index variable also here which we can take in any map function so we are taking the index also here then active another props which is known as active index triple equal to active we're doing equality so this is done now let's move to video list item i will again explain the whole process because it's a bit tricky and interesting also so uh, we will uh, move to the video list item and uh, here we don't uh, want to change it it is okay so this what is it doing here and then let us destructure it restructure all the props So what were the props which we are receiving? We were receiving selected by user comma current index current index comma active active we are receiving. let's add some inline styles also this are the styles which are the main thing which will come into play with all this thing this is style object is if is active is there then it will choose border of or uh, uh, gray color and background of ashi and if it is inactive then border will be nothing background will be nothing now once we are in our ally the on click we will do a this callback function selected by user and cur index will be passing 
it is uh, yelling at us oh because we cannot have two things in the same line we have to do it like this and then let me bring it to the other line so it will be more clear here only style I will be having if it is active if active is true then it will be styles dot is active or styles dot inactive let me save it props is not defined line 21 line 27 video list oh it is giving me here line 21 and uh, line 27 it is giving me this error that props oh oh i got this error because this is a class based component class based component there is nothing like props uh, this is for a functional component only this is this dot props and uh, mm, line 27 also it is throwing the error so it will be this dot props okay so let me see yeah it is coming now see this blue color oh great see this blue color so it is working fine so let me explain it now what is happening see when it when uh, we come here and the uh, initial rendered is there so the active index is null so this uh, this dot state dot active index active is active is nothing active is null and uh, we the active is currently index act, active is null and index it it generally maps over it so index might be index is 0 1 2 3 4 so 0 equal to null no it is not so it it will pass it as false here so if it passes at false here so this will be selected now what happens when someone clicks over it so this select when someone clicks over it this selected by user get call with the current index this current index so for every this map for every index it is passing it so the current index may be say if i click on this one so the current index will be zero so zero get passed here selected by user so this callback callback function goes back here and calls it and it makes the active index as zero active in uh, active index as zero so this dot state dot active index so the active is active active will be zero here so what will happen it will again loop over it so for zero for uh, active is zero and index when the index is also zero so zero triple equal to zero is true but for every other case one when it will come one one triple triple equal to zero is not true two triple equal to zero is not true three triple equal to zero is not true four triple equal to zero is not true so this all will pass false for active and for index zero only it will pass true so when it will pass through because this component will be rendered five times for five videos so when it will be true active will be true this one will get loaded is active and it will give the background border so this is how the complete workflow works hope you learned a thing about it um, with this thank you for watching the video